Hello and welcome to my new video. This time, we are going to have a look at the best all-season tires you can get this year, including the new models on the market and also one surprising budget recommendation, so make sure you watch till the end. So let's get into it. As the first model, there can't be any other model than the original new-gen all-season tyre, the Michelin Cross Climate. The Cross Climate actually introduced the all-season tyres to European drivers back in 2015 and convinced them they are a viable option. The original model got replaced in 2017 by the Cross Climate Plus model, which got replaced in 2021 by the current model, the Cross Climate 2. The main focus of the Cross Climate 2 is snow performance and as the tests pointed out, Sometimes it's traded off for a little bit weaker wet performance. However, it still did win more than a half of the tests it was featured in, so it is a great choice for drivers that do encounter occasional snow on roads they drive on. Also, Michelin is one of a few manufacturers that actually optimize their tires for a lifelong performance, so the Cross Climate 2 with 2mm tread depth left has the same level of snow traction as a new one, which is quite impressive. Next up is Continental, which introduced its all-season tyre quite late as they didn't believe this trend is here to stay. I still have a vivid memory of a Continental representative saying that if you really need to run one tyre all year long, it should be their Conti Winter Contact. And, to be fair, in the early days of new-gen all-season tyres, he wasn't wrong. There were some all-season tyre tests where the Conti's Winter Tyre was featured as a reference tyre and it has beaten all of the all-season tyres. But it didn't take long and in 2017, the first gen of the all-season contact was introduced, specializing on wet and snow performance. And the tests do confirm that, it won six of them, while being recommended in many others. And this year, new generation was introduced, promising a whopping 15% increase in mileage and improved handling and braking distances in both dry and wet. As the original tyre was already really good in these disciplines, I'm really excited to see the new generation in this year's tests. Next up is a tyre from Bridgestone, which I will cover really briefly as there is no available video footage I could use. The new Taranza All Season 6 is a successor to Weather Control A005 EVO and now part of the main Taranza range from Bridgestone. The predecessor was often quoted as a specialist in dry and wet, which makes it a nice contrast to the tyres we mentioned earlier. However, the engineers from Bridgestone worked a lot on the snow performance for the new version and the result is that the performance should be comparable to other premium brands. The rock has gone also into durability which should result in 20% extra mileage. And I can't fail to mention the Goodyear Vector 4 Seasons model, which was first announced shortly after the cross climate in 2016. The current generation is titled Gen 3 and if you look closely at the thread, it looks more like a winter tyre than the other tyres I mentioned before. Maybe that is the reason it is praised in the tests for its excellent snow performance and exceptional aquaplaning resistance and dry braking is often mentioned as its downside. Anyway, it won three tests and was recommended in the others so it's sure a good candidate for all year round driving. And as usual, I have to mention a tyre from Hankook. The reason is same as always, it provides a premium quality tyre for a better price than the traditional premium manufacturers. And that is also the case of the 4S2 and 4S2X for SUVs. It is an extremely well-balanced tyre, offering safe driving in every condition possible. The only downsides are higher rolling resistance, which makes it not recommendable for EVs and lower mileage. And now to the final tyre. There isn't much budget options in the all-season tyres segment that are actually decent, partly because the technology is still pretty new and the engineering is expensive. But I have one tip. Kleber, a brand that is a part of the Michelin concern, introduced a new model called the Quadraxa 3 last year. And guess which tyre the tread design is similar to? Yes, the Cross Climate 2. 
They use the same pattern for the feed blocks in the thread, used for water drainage and you can find more similarities if you look closer. I'm not saying that these tires are the same, because they are most definitely not. The compound used is going to be much different and there's lot more attention to detail in the Michelin tire, including the technology that makes the tire not change its performance during the life cycle of the tire. But the one test we already have from last year suggests that the Quadraxa 3 is actually a very good tire, Auto Build praised its good performance on snowy and dry roads, excellent safety margins in aquaplaning and short braking distances in dry conditions. It was criticized for understeer on wet roads, but it's just a minor flaw considering it's 40% cheaper than the Cross Climate 2 and according to Autobuild, it should last even a bit longer than the premium model. I will, of course, provide you with the results of the tests, as they get published later this year, so if you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified. Also, I would like to hear your experiences with all-season tires, which one are you using, are you happy with it or are you planning to get a new one this year? Let me know in the comments down below. See you next time.